Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I'm player two. And welcome back to Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Yeah, it's, it's been a while, huh? Sorry about that. Just, you know, we have like six other games, so. One of them will get tossed to the wayside, but don't worry, we won't. I blame Spider Man. What? Spider Man, huh? I blame Spider Man. I blame Spider Man as well. But we will come back to them, don't you worry. So we're back at Layton. Last time, uh, we were we were looking, we we're just looking around town. We're in this watchtower. Oh yeah, this had the stupid spot the difference puzzle. And uh, and yeah, now we're going up. See what's here. I don't here. even remember what the last difference was. I think it was like one of those garlic things that were hanging up. One of these. Who is this man? Jeff. <laughs> Gold earned vampires get up on property. Vampires? Are you alright, sir? <laughs> Who goes here? You don't need to kill me. I know vampire hands from when I see him. Wait, wait, wait just a moment. We just heard a screaming game to investigate. See what you will, Sonny, but it won't do you no good. I see through your vampire eyes. You really want to leave your vampire, solve this puzzle, and you'll do it quickly. How, how does that- Let's this 12 gauge buckshot finds its way between your eyes. How does this determine if we're vampires or not? Vampires can't solve puzzles. In a quiet town, there's a tower that commands a view of the whole town. Since you can see the whole town from the tower, logic dictates you should be able to see the top of the tower from anywhere in town. However, there's one place in town shown on the map below from which you clearly have no chance of seeing the top of this tower. Um. Uh, okay. Where can you not... in the stadium? No. Hmm. Ha! This seems like a very abstract question. I'd guess they were behind the buildings. Wait, wait, no. Wouldn't it be in the tower? Right. Hmm. Let's see if Did you save? Works. Thank you. Ha ha. Thank you, game. Piece of cake. Good thinking. From inside the tower, there's no way to see the top of it. Sure, you may be able to stick your neck out the window and look up, but you still won't be able to see the very top of it. Good puzzle. Depends on how long your neck is. Yeah. Pretty good for a vampire. If you were that one Charlotte uh, family member from One Piece. Maybe. I forget her name. Oh, well, you're not one of them blood suckery underneath after all. Try and chew me some tobacco. That's how they say to listen to me when I tell you you best keep an eye on the castle over yonder. Oh, castle. It's the one of the most fearsome undead creatures around. Real. I said to say, not a vampire. Mm. Oh, um, I know who he's talking about. Wasn't there oh. like just some art or something? We saw there was like an Alucard looking guy. That's probably who he's talking about. Who the hell's Alucard? Uh, Dracula's son. A real-life vampire, you say? Don't make me say it again, Cracker. Okay. There's another mystery. I know you want them. You want them uh, European folk. Quaker. 
Oh. So I think this man has problems. Indeed, indeed. Ah. I mean, at least it's pretty slow going, isn't it? Indeed. Perhaps our only choice really is to wait for the Hosen Museum to open. If that's the case, maybe we should revisit the museum. Never know, it might have opened while we were away. Hmm. All right, you've got a point. I hope the place proves more useful to us this time than it did last. Now get out of my property. Okay, so after all that, we're just going to the museum again. Uh, but while I'm here, let me, um, uh, Wait. before you go, take a shot of my holy water shot. Protect you from vampires and keep your belly warm. It's pretty stinky up here, and I don't think it's the garlic. And I just stay out of the corner and don't tip over that bucket. Oh no. Okay. Don't don't ask why there's a figurine in there. Oh no. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so are we about like almost halfway through. I'm gonna eat me some more tobacco. You, you have a nice old time, Jeff. We'll, we'll be seeing you. Okay. Uh, not in game. I'm currently eating milk dozens. This is the second one I've had that has just the caramel, no chocolate coating. How does that even... I don't like the look of this fellow. This whole place is covered in garlic. At least you can definitely smell it. Oh. Yes, it's very pungent. It's a good thing I brought a handkerchief. My eyes are watering. I know, sir. It's just being here. Finally, some customers. Uh, come in, come in. It's been months since anyone came by to shop. My shop's been out of favor with the townsfolk recently. Sorry, sir. I, uh, I stole some of the uh, tobacco from that homeless man. Luke, you. But I can, I can, I can see why your shop. I haven't had customers, or rather I can smell it. Hard to breathe, let alone shop. Oh, but this tobacco actually takes the edge off. Oh. Yeah. So it smells, big whoop. It's not here to class up the shop, you know. It's here for protection. We've got what you might call a bit of a vampire problem here in town, and garlic keeps them away, see? Vampires? Seriously? Do I look like I'm joking, boy? See that castle over there? That's where the freaky guy lives. At least that's what people say. I'm not saying I believe the talk, but you can never be too prepared, you know. Okay. Freaky man. So this tobacco makes me feel weird. Luke, I'm... Not sure if that's actually tobacco. The inside of the can is awful, also covered in this weird white powder. Oh no, Luke. Oh no. It tastes real bad. But for some reason, I don't want to stop. Right. Also, is the cake supposed to look like that? Expensive sir, wilderness. Does, sir, I have a bad feeling about this. 
Yes, the uh, Sasquatch is probably up there. Probably shouldn't. What's a Sasquatch? Um, it is a aberration of inhuman nature. You do not want to see one. Oh, like your mother. Luke, I'm going to disown you. Sir, why do you own me in the first place? Because your parents... Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't go there yet. No, actually, tell me about them. I, I don't remember them at all. People from Dropstone said letters here? Okay. So, some... Some reason, Dropstone's connecting here. Okay. All right, I think we've now gone everywhere, so we can go back to the museum. So, are we going to walk through the red light district again? Yes. Such a shame we can't go in. Such a shame. And there's Granny's, okay. Luke gets lost for like 15 minutes and reappears, just disheveled. <laughs> Sir? What? Sir, I'm scared. What happened in there? Luke? I got my Jimmy's John. Look at that. The gate appears to be open now. Now we can finally go inside. Also, don't ask where I got this, uh, plush. Oh. Okay, so there. They're going. Shit. Hmm? Luke, do you hear that? Sir, I can- we can both clearly see that. <sighs> None? Yeah, you were him. Don't even have as much of a lead on it. That's all I told you to find it and find it fast. Uncle, you gotta cut me some slack. It's no piece of cake sneaking around with that pig on my tail. Plus, that professor dude from London has been out playing detective, too. <laughs> Keep... <laughs> Keeping a low profile takes it out of a guy, you know what I'm saying? My feet are killing me for almost running around. How about you let me take a break? Besides, if I get caught sneaking around like this... You are in horrible way about Sandal. Quit your wire and get back to the task at hand. Quickly before I use this cloud juice. <laughs> oh. You find that box and I hear the word break coming from your mouth. Gosh, Mr. Ruluga really let him handle it. Didn't he open the gate too? I'm not sure, though it appears that while the gate is open, the museum itself is still closed. But let's this put this discussion aside for a moment. Tell me, Luke, do you recognize the symbol at our feet? Some type of goat? The oh, it's the same as the uh, diary. You're so right. The stone has been worn down over the years, but the design is one I've seen before. It looks like the symbol on the book we found lying in the street. That it does, but I'm certain I've seen something like this in another location too. But where was it? Ah, yes. Now I've got it. Sir, if you say my mother, I'm going to put cyanide in your next cup of tea. We must locate Inspector Chelmy at once. I need to see that photo he acquired from the crime scene. I don't like oh, that so noise. Ben, where, we, where can we track him down? Well, it's quite late now. He may have returned to the hotel for the night. What do you think? I thought that was the right light district. 
You should probably check the hotel first. Let's have some faith in the man. Well, if he did go to the red light district, he does have a wife, so we may have some dirt on him. That's why I'm saying we need to have some faith in the man. Oh, I hope to whatever day he rules this world that he's a faithful man. All right. I know it's kind of a dick to us, but still. How can we... Holy shit, Dobby! What happened to you? Oh my god, it is Dobby! What is with his finger? I don't... Oh, oh god, Dobby had a child with E.D. I don't like this man. Marty. Name's Geron... Giorgio. Gregorio. Greg... Ah, the name's Gregorio, I... Mm. Mm. And I'd sooner run around in a chicken suit than your day without chess. No. No, not chess. Not again. You want to get on my good side and hear what I have to say? Why? But first, a little chess. Shit. This should be interesting. Not chess. Leave. Lead the knight on a trip around the board below. Chess knights move two squares forward and one square perpendicular on each turn. The initial direction can be up, down, left, or right. Move this knight around the entire board, landing on each square only once. Oh no. Let, 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 let me, let me. Go ahead. What the hell? That does not fix it. Okay. You're going to want to go to the lower square first. All right. Down. Up. How the hell have you done this? And now I can break off. I don't like Gregorio. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Very nice. Very nice. There's more where that came from, but let's take it. Breathe for now so I can yammer on to you. Back in the day, this town was full of aristocratic families. But one day they decided to up and leave. Fathers and families, pretty much the only upper crust left in town. Hers, okay. Seems like. Ah, no. you're coming right back. Ah, uh, uh, I'm a bit tired. Let's have around two next time. I don't like Gregorio. I don't like him. Oh, Mr. Layton. Was it as good for you as it was for me? Oh no! The way you dominated it with that horse. Please. Oh wait, Gregorio scares. Wait a moment. Who is who is who is Madam? Opal. Forsens oh. used to be home to many families of noble birth. Then Duke Herzen has discovered a vast gold deposit on the outskirts of town, which changed everything. Forsens developed rapidly, but word of the gold brought in all sorts of unsavory types. It's such a shame. This used to be such an enchanting town. 
Okay, okay, some lore. Hello, Chelmy. Inspector, there's something I need to ask you. Can you spare just a moment? Ah, oh, right. See you from busy. Don't think you managed to solve 50 puzzles or so. I forgot there were puzzle checkpoints in this game. Well, good thing right. we're caught up. Damn. That's, that's actually kind of impressive. He's been very busy sniffing around for clues. Tell me, has your search yielded any genuine useful facts yet? Perhaps. Would you mind showing me the photo you acquired from the doctor's apartment? Oh, I understand there's a clue to be found in that photo. <laughs> well, so you've solved 50 puzzles so far, so I can tell you're serious about this investigation. Surprise on this case, if you think you can help, I might as well show you the thing. What the devil? What the deuce? Something the matter, sir? I brought a hole in my pocket. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. And smattering the bees about without even noticing this. It's a. This is a low point, I'm going to be honest. Seems. All that seems to be remaining. All that seems to remain of the photo is a single scrap. Oh, great, another collectible. Fifteen to go. Is that to give up on everything? On ever seeing that photo, huh? Off to say, these were still all in my pocket when they. when we entered forms. Sure of that much. Inspector, do you recall the path you took around town over the past couple hours? That's a Let's see. Oh, the uh, Chalmy's route. Okay. Use what the inspector remembers to find the path he took through town. Well, only one turn I made was at an intersection with a cafe on it. Oh, and I also passed in front of one hat shop. Oh, and one flower shop too. And I didn't walk any farther than necessary. Okay. That's the start. That's the goal. Only one turn was at an intersection with a cafe on it. Pass in front of one hat shop and one flower shop. Hmm. All right. I have an idea. Mm hmm Start. Go all the way to the last intersection before you reach the end. Go down to the crossroad. Over one. Down one. Down. No. Back. Oh wait. That'd be two. Yeah, that's that's two flower shops. No, that's that's two flower shops. God damn it. Okay, so it has to be one flower shop, one hat shop. All right. Uh one turn with a cafe on it. Right? Yes, it has to be one intersection with a cafe on it. 
Well, that's that's that. So I no, think. But that's two intersections with cafes on it. No, no, because no, this intersection has a cafe on it. He didn't turn. And then the one directly next to it has cafe on it. But he only made a turn at the intersection with a cafe on it. He didn't turn at this one, so so it still works. I saved. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay. All right. Go back to the. Uh, go back. One. All right. Two. Up. All right. 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 Down. Save. Okay. Yeah. I see it. Consider this puzzle solved. No. I didn't walk any farther than necessary. I mean, that looks pretty succinct to me. Hmm. Consider this puzzle solved. Let's see what this says. Oh, my. Be sure to consider everything the inspector has to say. That's a great, that's a great hint. Only one turn was at an intersection with a cafe on it. One hat shop, one flower shop. I feel like we've done that. I think you're right. I think it does mean that he can pass by them, but he, he can't turn on them for the cafes. Yeah. It's like, that's already the flower. That's the intersection turn. That's the hat shop. Okay, maybe. That's the hat shop, that's the cafe intersection, that's the flower shop. Consider this puzzle solved. There you go, I, okay. And there we have sure, it. Sure, why not? All right, now I gotta find the photo scraps. And after leaving the Northwest, out of town, I came straight back to the motel. Try Northeast, or at least. That should be enough information to get started. Thank you. Come, Luke. Let's see if we can't recover the pieces of that photo by retracing the inspector's steps. It's important about the photo, Professor. I am unsure of the photo's content, but I have every confidence that it will lead us to the Elysian box. Say no more. I'm sold. After all, your, inti your intuition never fails. It's very... Oh, we're the dog. 
The little path with the bulldog sitting there. Yes, let's. I'll lead the way. Oh, he missed two, goddammit. Gotta go to Granny. I think that's chapter end. Yeah, chapter five. Shadows on the street corner. Oh boy. The third to last chapter. Oh boy. Oh man. We're actually... How much time do we have left in the episode? Uh, that's the episode. Ah. Yeah, that that one that puzzle took a took took a little bit for us. But uh, but yeah. I'm scared that we don't have a lot of these. But we fix the camera. We still need to get three more tea ingredients. Hmm. But I would say going a whole chapter, that's good progress to me. So I think we'll end it there. All right. I've been player one. I would play it too. And we'll see you next time when we find whatever the hell is on that photo. Yes. Bye bye. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bye.